Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about a lot of different concepts, so this is a good session to watch. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, factory templating, I'll be talking about uh, custom expressions and so on. Uh, so let's get started. So this is what I have. Uh, so I'm using Visual Studio Code instead of uh, the Web IDE, uh, but I'll be switching back and forth later on just so that uh, other viewers can follow along with SAP Web IDE as well. But uh, if you are, if you, you can do the same exercise with the SAP Web IDE as well. Uh, I just prefer uh, Visual Studio Code for now. Okay, so what I have is Visual Studio Code on the left-hand side and the output on the right-hand side. So I have uh, a live server running. Um, so we have some kind of element binding and some aggregation binding. Uh, but now I want to introduce you to the concept of uh, factory templating. Uh, so for that, what I'm going to do is uh, I have the data here, my info.j on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more data to it so I'm going to add a little bit more data to this so this may break the application but at the end we will fix it all um, so what I've done is uh, I have uh, this hobbies I have the hobbies still with me uh, but I've at, but as you can see I have added more uh, properties to the hobby skill. So I have the name, the skill, the ranking, the highest ranking, price money, currency code, and so on. And you can see that if uh, my skill is professional, then I have a, a lot more properties. Uh, but if I have amateur, uh, then there are not a lot of properties in there. Okay, so we also want to display this information in the UI. Uh, but as you can see, the chess, uh, the amateur skill level, this this hobby doesn't have way too many properties. So what I want to do is I want to use a completely different control if I am a professional so that I can accommodate all of this information. And then if I'm an amateur, I want to use a completely different UI control. Um, so this is what factory templating does. So you have a factory method uh, that allows you to use different controls for different rows uh, based on some criteria. So in our, in our example, the criteria is the skill is amateur. I want to use a completely different UI control for this. And then if I'm professional, then I want to use a completely different control. Now, this also introduce you, introduces us to the concept of formatting, but this is a little bit higher, a little bit more advanced as well. OK, so now that we have this, so what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, I'm going to go into my app controller uh, or actually let's go into my app view.xml and we'll make some changes to this. So I'm going to my code here, I'm going to my app view.xml. Uh, I will minimize this right here so that I have a bigger screen. Uh, so right now what we're using is we're using a standard list control and this standard list control it doesn't matter whether I'm using I'm using it as uh, an amateur or professional. I'm using the same standard list control, and I'm just input. I'm just outputting the name and the skill. So the name is chess, and the skill is uh, amateur or professional. But like I said, I want to use completely different controls. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut and paste this code here, that allows us to go ahead and use different controls. So you can see here, uh, of course, it's broken here, but that's fine. Uh, we'll fix that later. Um, so I have two different controls, and I'm also introducing you to the concept of fragments. So everything kind of new here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using you, introducing you to the concept of a fragment. Uh, and from looking at it, you can see that there are two fragments, an amateur fragment and a professional fragment. And they are in the namespace core. Uh, so we would have to bring in the namespace core. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring that namespace core in here as well. OK, so we have brought in the namespace score. Uh, but where is this uh, fragment name, right? We don't have this file yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and create this file. Uh, so we want this file amateur under the fragments uh, folder. And a fragment has is more like just like a UI with no code or anything behind it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create like a UI control with just UI elements in it. And we're going to plug that in here. And I'm also going to create another UI control called professional and also plug that in here uh, based on some criteria. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and create this folder right here, uh, the one that says amateur. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, create that. So what I'll do is I'll go here and in my web app, I will create a new folder and I will call this uh, fragments because uh, we want to put it in fragments and amateur. So let me create a folder called fragments and inside of that I will create two files. One is the amateur.fragment.xml and the other one is going to be uh, professional.fragment.xml professional.fragment.xml so let's start with the amateur fragment. So the amateur fragment is fairly simple. We only have the title and the description. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to use the same standard list item that we saw before uh, because uh, the we don't have way too many uh, information to, uh, to display. Uh, so I'm going to cut and paste this code here. Let me maximize this. So um, let me see here. Okay, so what we have here is uh, we have the standard list item. Uh, let me bring this down a little bit so we can see everything clearly. Um, so we have the standard list item and the ID, I call it amateur. I have an icon, so I'm introducing a new thing called an icon here. Uh, so just a small icon that shows before the title. Uh, there's the name, there is the skill, and uh, and then I have an info called price money. And this price money is uh, is kind of hard coded. This is from the internationalization. So if you look at, at my, uh, if you look at the JSON file, there is no price money for the amateur. Uh, so this value is going to be just hard coded. And the value is actually coming from uh, this. So let's go ahead and plug in this value here as well for the price money. Uh, so we'll put something like, uh, hey, there's no price money here, right? So, okay, so there's no price money, just playing for fun. So here is, uh, this value is hard-coded. And we have uh, something called uh, info state as error. Uh, I mean, this is going to show up in red. So SAP UI5 has a lot of uh, semantic objects. Uh, so it allows you to, you don't have to like hard, like code all these things you just put the info state as error and it shows up as red uh, so we have the amateur fragment which is good now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the professional so now the professional is going to be a little bit more complex well not complex but it's going to have a lot more data in it uh, so I go into my professional and I let me uh, add this code here and instead of uh, the first thing right off the bat you see is instead of uh, the standard list item we use the object list item so the object list item obviously allows you to show more data right uh, so you have uh, uh, we have the same ID we have uh, another icon we have a title uh, but then we have this number parts so this allows us to show the price money and we also have some formatting options here. We are using the, the built-in currency formatting. Uh, we are doing the type is active, number state is success, so now it's going to show up as green, and the number unit is currency code, so it's going to show the currency code as well, and that value is in the JSON file. We have the press item, but uh, we're not going to be coding that for now. Um, so, and then we have an, another first status element right here, and this uh, shows up the status, and here is some kind of an expression binding. So if the status is active, so if the player is not retired, then it shows up as in green. If the player is retired, then it shows up as a warning, which is orange in color. Again, semantic uh, SAP UI5 is big on that. Uh, so you don't have to like uh, do all these coding. You can simply use this, uh, in, use this property state for it. Same thing, we have an uh, object attribute. We are showing the ranking. We are having another object attribute that shows the highest ranking of that player as well. Um, okay, so now we have uh, both the fragments. Okay, but now we need a way for 
for us to figure out uh, which fragment to use, right? Uh, so obviously we can't just go ahead and uh, uh, show both the both the fragments. Now here, if I go back to my code in my app.u.xml, let me maximize the screen. Now here we have some kind of a factory function. So this factory function, this tells which uh, uh, fragment to use to insert into this dependence. Uh, so let's go ahead and code this and uh, let's go here and let's create this uh, folder as well. It should be um, a factory and then it should be uh, the function should be hobby factory. So we can call this method as uh, uh, fact, uh, we can call this file as uh, factory.xml or, or JS. Okay, so here we go, and let's create this folder. And the folder, we're going to call it as formatter. And we can bring that in. And we can create this new file, which is going to be factory.js. Now, this kind of uh, tells uh, uh, which, uh, which fragment to use. Um, oh, so uh, Visual Studio Code even kind of gives you this uh, base uh, uh, base uh, code here. Uh, so I have another base code that I can use. So I'm going to copy this code right here and paste it in. Okay. So uh, so what we're doing is we have this hobby factory function. And this gets the ID and the context. Now, the context has the data property, the, the, the data binding context. Now, we are going to be uh, uh, honing in on this uh, value of skill. And then if we say, hey, skill, if the skill is amateur, then I want to use uh, this item is, so let's use a, this item is amateur. This player is this player is amateur so use a standard list item so we're going to clone this uh, standard uh, uh, standard list item now if he is not a uh, uh, if he's not an amateur uh, then we will go ahead and create this uh, professional so this by id uh, this refers to the id of the standard list item so if i go into my amateur fragment.xml you can see that this ID amateur is the standard list item. Uh, so if uh, if I'm an amateur player, then I'm going to clone this ID. If I'm a professional player, then I'm going to clone the professional, which has the professional as the ID. Uh, so I'm going to clone these two, and I'm going to return this UR, uh, this UI control. So what happens is uh, this is function this f function here determines which fragment gets uh, inserted here okay so we have that uh, and then now we need to we just added this file here so we need to make sure it gets into our uh, uh, we can call this so let's go into app controller dot js where is app controller 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 yeah there it is and here we can bring this in. com slash sap slash data binding one slash formatter because it's inside the formatter and our thing is called factory. And this is very similar to like if you have used React the way you say uh, require or import or uh, anything like that. Uh, so it uses some kind of uh, 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 asynchronous may way of uh, uh, of, of uh, loading these modules. So let's go ahead and say here, let's go ahead and say factory. So we're bringing in this factory. So the uh, For matter, oh no, we need to call this factory then. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Let's put it here. Yeah, now it should 
absolutely all set okay so now we have everything working so you see that if you're a professional then you have all this uh, fancy information uh, notice how the ranking and everything these are the attributes that show up uh, you have the status is active retired is in orange and then if you're an amateur then it has uh, the standard list item that's it for that's it now for folks okay thank you bye